Ken here at Waters Garden Center and my tomatoes are big, they're bold, they're green, and they're dropping blossoms. What do I do to get fruits in my tomatoes? I got the expert for you. John Ford with Bonine Corporation has made two products that are amazing. They're just amazing. So I thought I'd bring John in and just explain how blossom sets and rot stops work in your gardens this spring. Welcome, John. Thank you. So start with the tomato blossom set. What does it do? How's it made of? What's the programming? Why does, it, why does a vegetable garden react the way it does to blossom set? Let's just set the stage. We're talking about this stuff. Blossom set, uh, tomato and blossom set. Clytokin, the active ingredient, is a derivative of coconut oil. How they discover things like this, I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing. But when it's sprayed on a tomato plant, to, in layman's terms, it causes the plant to pause and think about blossoming. And it's, it's that causation that allows the plant to produce fruit earlier. Um, uh, for example, a tomato plant that may take 110 days to produce, it could cause the fruit to come on in 90. Wow. Um, and earlier. Um, it has a whole host of other vegetables that it can be used on, like okra and uh, peppers and squash and even grapes for that matter. And it helps control the environmental causes that uh, make the blossoms drop. So now tomatoes, they're famous for grow like crazy, lots of foliage, and then not set blossoms. You've sprayed the plant. The whole plant. The foliage, not the blossom. It doesn't have any blossoms. You're right. spraying the foliage, and it causes the plant to hiccup. Just kind of go, oh, wait a minute. I should set blossoms. That's correct. And it does work that way. That's exactly how it works. Then it starts setting blossoms. It starts setting fruit. Then we get into rot stop. Can you get that on film? Rot stop. This is good stuff. If you're growing tomatoes, you're going to need one of these. Why does this work so well? Calcium is one of the three uh, causes, or lack of calcium is one of the three causes for blossom end rot. That's where the bottom half of your tomato plant rots out. And by the time you have that problem, you can't correct it. So as the plant grows, this is another product that needs to be applied to the foliage as a calcium supplement to prevent that from happening. So you plant, again, you're not spraying the fruit with the rot stop, you're, playing, you're spraying the foliage of the plant with this and it absorbs it through the foliage, takes it to the fruit. That's correct. Awesome. So for my own gardens, starting about May, I buy one of each of these, or when I buy my tomato plants, I'll spray first part of May, when I start to have the plant up looking like it's a plant, tomato plant, I'll spray it once a week with this and then every other week, I'll put the rot stop. I just trade these off. One week this, the next week this. And it seems like a, one of these takes lasts about the season. And so with that, I get lots of fruits and they don't have that funky black spot on the end and they taste better, I'm telling you. Waters Garden Center with uh, John Ford here, Bonide, with tomato blossom set and rot stop and how to get better tomatoes in your yard.